Okay. I'm going to do a quick video of all this stuff. It's a lot of my knife making stuff that I, I've taken out. I've got a couple projects that I'm going to start. Um, this is the first one that I did. It's done now. It's a uh, Father's Day gift from my uh, brother-in-law. I gave him a knife already, but I decided that I didn't like the one I gave him, so I gave him, I'm going to give him this one. It's a little kit. Pretty easy to do. Just got to get a number six and I think a number eight. This is a number eight torque bit. And uh, really all you need is like a file. Just because you got to file the back of the knife so that you set the uh, position where this lock goes by filing the back how much of it you want to, uh, how much of this you want to engage. This has got um, texture G10 inlays, bead blasted, everything's bead blasted. And basically I just assembled it. Then I, uh, before I took it apart, I would seen how much I need to adjust this. And I uh, did a little custom file work back here so that this will engage the proper amount that I needed. And then after I assembled, I took it all apart. And I used, uh, uh, let me show you, here. some thread lock glue so it's non permanent. Keep everything, all the adjustments, like this adjustment, and then these from backing out. So, pretty cool little knife, not too expensive. And it comes with extra Teflon washers and one of each of the screws. So that's his kit. Now I, I got this for myself, which is a uh, drop hunter. Pretty big knife. I just drilled out this hole to fit. I prefer to have a bigger lanyard. This is for the lanyard right here. And this is a quarter inch outside diameter uh, brass rod. So if you drill it quarter inch, it will be the exact diameter, so I just drilled it out like a sixteenth more. So that will stick through the handle material and then you'll be able to put your lanyard through the end. So that's a custom item that I'm adding to that. This tape is just here to protect me and stuff. And uh, this is hardened uh, steel, so I had to use a special... Where did I put it? Here. titanium nitrate bit to drill the hole and um, a little bit of lubricant and then I slowed my drill press down to about 900 RPMs cut right through it so that's that these are going to be the uh, my carter handles this is all of my carter handles that I started with I'm going to use white liners on it so I've already filed it down to the surface because once this is in place I'll be able to sand and cut and I'll cut it out roughly and then sand, this will be pretty close to being sanded so I don't get close to these brass um, guard so that's that knife so that this is the olive, like I said, olive uh, canvas micarta with the white um, fiber inlays, there are fiber, uh, vulcanized fiber sheets that are, it's like cardboard with, uh, been treated with something vulcanized, I guess. I was going to put these on, but they're not exactly the same exact size. Um, I prefer on a working knife to have the canvas, but this is a buffalo horn, they call it honey horn. That's what that would look like. So you get, of course, I have two of, of two of these. When you order it, but I put that on something else. I just wanted to see what it would, if it would work. Now I have one last kit. Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. Here's the last kit. 
it's a uh, three bladed uh, folder called the Rancher. Um, nickel silver bolsters. It's got all the parts, all the pins, all the springs, three bladed, all the blades are in there. And these are going to be the scales for it. This is uh, ivory, it's, an it's uh, antique ivory, but it's um, a man made product. It's a uh, synthetic material that they make look like it, so that's what that is. Here's the uh, paperwork that Jance puts on it. So that's, that's going to be for this knife. And the canvas was for this one. Of course, this one, everything came in the kit that you see here to make the complete knife. I got this from uh, knifekits.com. A very cool knife. I like it. The textured uh, handles, they just barely protrude enough, just enough to give you some grip because this is softer, I mean smoother. Okay, so now I have set some other ideas. I wanted to, uh, or some other techniques or whatever. It's the hammer that I used to paint over the rivets and stuff on the knives that have it. Got the epoxies, different epoxies that I use. Five minute and 30 minute. Um, I use these containers to put everything in and I also put the pins in there. These are eighth inch pins, brass pins. I got a dozen of them. Uh, I've used some of them already. And what else? Oh, the Vaseline is a good idea. If you want to protect um, the blade, I mean, you, the, well, this particular has a guard also, but to protect this area from the epoxy squeezing out on it, you put the Vaseline on here when you're ready, and then it will um, keep it from uh, uh, getting on here and you don't have to worry about chipping it off or whatever. So that's another technique that I've learned, just to put a little Vaseline on there. And what else? Um, I use this cheap duct tape. It has, it's reinforced. It's actually just like regular tape, but it's been reinforced to protect the blade while I'm working on it. it protect me also. Um, another good idea if you're going to do anything with epoxy, I got this bag for two bucks. It's got 36 of these. These are like a brush. They're designed for, I don't know, different uses. There's horse hair. Um, thick acid brushes there. I use it to spread the excuse me, spread the epoxy. And then when I'm done, I don't clean them, I just throw them away. If you try to clean this out, you're just gonna waste your time. It, it'll come out, but it, it still will be sticky. So those are some of the things I've got going on. And uh, I'm gonna start putting videos up on my stove channel with the for some knives and stuff. Things that I've been doing all along and i just been putting them on other sources like Facebook for family and stuff to see. But I'm going to start sharing that with you guys. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll uh, do another video when I finish these other knives and maybe some along the way. So describing whatever else I've learned or because I'm kind of new to this, learned or whatever. Got some silicone oil. I use it for a lubricant. It's also for your knives. It's from Rusty's Rags. Silicone gun oil. It's also used to protect the carbon steel blades. Really good. Protect them while you're working on them. And after you've used them, protect them from uh, rusting and stuff. Okie doke. I'll catch you guys on the next one.